Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So, this is going to be a little bit different. I don't normally do this, but this feels like it's long overdue even though it's been a week. But I want to warn you guys, do not go, do not go to Kingsgate Resort in Virginia. Want to know why? Stay tuned. So, the thing with me and vacations, right? I'm not bougie, but I know what I like to stay in. My mom knows what she likes to stay in, you know. We went on vacation this, this summer, as some of you guys know. We first went to Florida. We went to, uh, yeah, we went to Florida. That was our first, the first part of our vacation, which we stayed in Florida for a week in Orlando. In a, in a Wyndham Resort, which is also uh, the resort that we also stayed in in Virginia. It was a Wyndham Kingsgate Resort. The Wyndham Resort in Florida was beautiful, okay? The rooms were immaculate. There was nothing, nothing, nothing to complain about. The amenities were amazing to get to where you need to get to it was um, everything was just beautiful there were no issues with the rooms there was no issues with the amenities there were no issues with anything Florida was just amazing we decided to extend our vacation due to the fact that my mother's best friend lives in Virginia so we decided to go there after you know we left Florida so my mother you know booked the uh, the, the trip uh, about three days before we left Florida we like I said we she booked it for a Wyndham Kingsgate Resort in Virginia okay now, I don't know if I'm the only one who has done a YouTube video complaining about this resort. I haven't checked yet. Maybe there is someone else. There's other people who also have the same feelings that I do about what I'm about to say about this resort. So, here we go. First of all, when we got to uh, the resort you know they had to check in and stuff like that let me give you uh, the difference between Florida resort and Virginia so with Florida Florida was more like uh, their resort you know the way their 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 resort was they had you know the uh, the cart for you to uh, put your bags in and stuff like that for you to you know escort yourself to the elevator the Kingsgate Resort did not have that because there ha they had actual like houses in which you had to bring your stuff in whether you lived whether you were staying on the first floor, the second floor, and up. So, when we first got to the resort, you know, they checked in and stuff like that. They gave them the key. We drove over to the, uh, to the, the, the condo. That's basically what it was. And, um, 
at first it was a second they gave us a second floor uh room which is dumb you know that there are six people coming to your resort why would you think that we would want to be on the second floor we have bags they did not have a cart to escort us i don't know i saw on um the internet on their reviews that people were being escorted by carts you know people were being helped we didn't get any help we had to do everything ourselves so when my mom saw that you know there was a second floor she's like no we can't do this so they went back to the office and they accommodated us with the first floor fine we got a first floor I'm just gonna get go ahead and tell you guys the things that were just unbelievable to me first of all I don't know if the rooms were outdated but if they were Kingsgate you gotta do better you gotta do better there's no reason that your guests have to stay in such filth when I say filth I mean filth the carpet was dirty the uh, the kitchen had probably it, it looked like it hadn't even been swept you know and I'm gonna say this when we first got there I, I seen one of the housekeeping she didn't look too like she I understand that you know people you know they have hard days at work and stuff like that but she just looked like she just hated her job period like the way that she just threw the garbage in inside the garbage was just like uh, whatever it's done I did what I needed to do I'm going home but anyway back to what you know I was saying so the carpets were dirty the kitchen was dirty um we get to the bathrooms the bathroom because it was one the bathroom was okay the bathroom was okay the the washing machine was absolutely filthy disgusting the most disgusting thing I've ever seen so we're there that night you know we're settling in at this point it's just like you know my mom, I guess she figured, you know, we paid for this. Let's just stick it out for one night. So, we're sticking out for one night. The air conditioners, the filters are dirty. Just dust every, just, it's just disgusting. Just dust everywhere. So, I go to sleep that night. No, before I go to sleep, we all, you know, wash up and stuff like that. Because we had been on, you know, on the road for about a good 12 hours. So we get there, you know, settling in or whatever. We're getting ready to go to sleep. Now, in, 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 I'm not going to say most, in all resorts that I've ever been in, in all resorts, period, linen linen bed sheets pillows anything that needs to be on a bed is usually packed folded and packed into a bag and left in the closet right I slept on the pullout couch because there was only one bed uh no there were two beds there were two rooms and one bed in each room my sister and my grandmother slept together i was not able to sleep with them i had to sleep with my i have my son my son was with us so we slept on the couch so as i'm getting ready to make the the the, the pull out bed 
the linen was in my grandmother's closet in her room right it didn't dawn on me because I guess I, I was really really tired and I just really wanted to go to sleep first of all the linen wasn't in the bag there was no bag there was no blanket okay it was just a sheet uh, a, a, a sheet for the mattress a regular sheet to put over, over you and two pillows and no bag I didn't realize that I, it, it just didn't dawn on me it's not that I didn't realize it it just didn't dawn on me because I was really really tired like I said we had been on on the road for about 12 hours I was really really tired because I made up the bed and went to sleep I woke up the next morning to see blood I'm sleeping here on this side right here there's blood a speck of blood about this big on this side of the sheet like I said I it, nothing dawned on me I was tired I didn't realize that anything was wrong until the next day so I'm seeing blood and I'm just like where is this coming from what why is there blood on the sheets so I immediately told my mother she took a picture at this point she's calling the office because she's like we can't stay here no more because she had a disgusting smell in her room that smelled like wet dog I don't know why it smelled that way but it was horrible I, I just I couldn't fathom the thought that people uh, that that these people who own this place are allowing other these customers to pay this money to be in this filth this nastiness. So the blood stain is on the sheet, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I'm not going through my womanly phase. I have a nose ring. Did I hit myself in the face? Accidentally? Did no. Did I accidentally do something and pull? No, because that blood didn't look fresh. It looked like it's been there for a while. So then I go in the bathroom to take a shower. Around the pole is rusty. And I just keep seeing blood stains everywhere. And I'm just like, this is ridiculous. So, we were getting ready to go to uh, Bush Gardens. I don't, I don't understand how people can just allow these customers to stay in such filth. The couch pillows had specks of blood on it. I, I just don't understand. And the reason why I didn't know that there was specks of blood on it is because whoever cleaned that room must have turned the pillows around to the other side. And that's exactly what it was because when I remade the bed up, I seen blood. I'm like, where, where is this all? This, what is, what is this? This is just disgusting. It's filthy. So we ended up, we ended up going to Bush Gardens. After we went to Bush Gardens, we came back and packed our stuff so that we can go into another room. We go into another room. It seems much more cleaner, much more nicer 
there's no smells there's no nothing you know the kitchens are still you know there's still a little bit of crud in between the the cracks of the refrigerator and stuff like that but it's just at this point we're just like we're tired this room doesn't have a smell I don't see any stains anything like that right this time this room had the bag with all the bed sheets and stuff so I'm like okay so maybe this the, I don't have to deal with any blood stains this is great right well, well not for me so since I had to deal with blood stain for the first night my mother had to deal with feces stains on her sheets now this is the second room that they put us in that was supposed to be so much better she has feces stains on her on her sheets now I don't understand I don't understand why or who is working in this place but whoever is working in this place and and whoever is and whoever is, these people are that, that that are supposedly supposed to be cleaning cleaning you're not cleaning it that's not clean it's not clean it's dirty there's no reason that any of the linen have any type of stain that's disgusting and for my mother to call the the, the front desk and for them to, to for her to tell them you know there's stains on here and here and here and here and they say we believe you that is ridiculous first of all whoever was staying there you're disgusting if you know that you did this stuff and you know that, that's just nasty then you then then to the work the the you know the housekeeping y'all are not doing a good enough job we should not have had to call for towels nobody wants to be wiping themselves with the same towel for three or four days we should not have to call for towels we should not have to call for utensils the utensils were disgusting we ate out we had to eat out because all the utensils just everything was just disgusting filthy and dirty and it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense at all i really 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 do not prefer i don't recommend that anybody stay there there's nothing wrong with virginia as a as a as a state as a whole it's just this one particular place one one particular place please do not stay there it's not clean it's not clean it's not clean the people are nice the people are nice they're very nice and they're very they're hospitable but the, the rooms it's filthy it's disgusting and it's nasty and nobody should have to nobody that's paying that amount of money should have to stay in filth nobody should have to stay in filth none nobody should have to stay in blood stains Nobody should have to stay in, in feces stains on sheets. This that's just the, it, that's disgusting. That's nasty, and it's I can't, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And personally, I would never stay there again. I know my mother would never stay there again. And like I said, we're not bougie. We just know what we are used to and we are used to cleanliness and we are used to things being right and upkept and if it was just don't get me wrong the resort as a whole is beautiful it's beautiful the pools were clean it doesn't make any sense the pool is more cleaner than the room I don't understand that how 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 is the pool more cleaner than the rooms how I don't get that. I don't get that at all. I don't get that. And this is a pool that is around a bar where people can eat. And the pool was kept more clean than the rooms. Kingsgate, Wyndham, you have to do better. 
better better your customers should not have to stay in filth they should not have to stay in dirt they should not have to, they should not have to it's just nasty just nasty and I really 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 hope that you all take this video into consideration please do not stay in Wyndham Kingsgate Resort in Virginia it's disgusting it is nasty nasty and that is all I gotta say <laughs> Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I gotta say. So, if you like this video, make sure you thumbs it up. Make sure that you share this video. Please share this video because I really need everybody to understand that I'm not, I'm not coming down on Virginia as a whole. I'm just letting y'all know that that particular place is just disgusting and nasty. Um, like, subscribe, share this out. Please. <laughs> please and I will see y'all next time